Hi everyone, my name is Colette Matriga. Welcome to Colette's Temporary Therma Kitchen. I'm a consultant here in Australia and I look after customers all over Australia. And if you're thinking of getting a Thermomix, I would love to look after you too. Now tonight I am going to do a very simple thing. It's something that we all would love to do and I think probably a lot of you are doing this beautifully. But I've had so many people ask me of late, can I please show them poached eggs again. So I'm just going to do a quick poached egg and I'm going to show you my method which is a bit different from the methods that are out there but it does work successfully all the time. So let's get started. So to start off with, in my bowl I'm going to put about 1.8 uh, litres of water um, and then I'm going to put the basket in and you want the water to come up just under halfway of the actual basket. I don't use the blade cover, just the basket. Now once that water has come up just under halfway, I then pop it onto the Thermomix. I'm just going to return this one. Pop it onto the Thermomix and then I bring that water to the boil. And um, you want that temperature to read up, reach 100 degrees, which it has done now. So I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to bring this time down. So I don't really worry about the time. You can boil the kettle if you want it. It's just counting down now. But now we need to act quite quickly because the temperature is dropping quite quickly in the bowl. I need to crack my egg into a bowl. So I've successfully done about six eggs in one row in this method. So egg has been cracked in very quickly. I take the lid off. Andrew, do you want to come over here? Put a good splash of vinegar, white vinegar, in the bowl. And then I very carefully drop my egg into the position. So it's in the water, just sitting there, and I'm just dropping that in. And now we will drop any other eggs in. And now I'm going to continue for three minutes. Oh. Can we collect three minutes? That's fine. Um, at 100 degrees, at speed number half, half the speed, 0.5. So that's it. And um, I'll show you that coming out in just a second. But it does cook them so beautifully. And you can cook a whole number of eggs at one go. And it's just quite easy, as you'll see in a minute, to get them out of the basket rather than out of the Thermomix with the blade cover in. So I'll go back to that in a couple of minutes. So even if you put six eggs in there, it's still three minutes? Yes, still three minutes. Um, and they, yeah, so you just need to make sure when you're putting them in, you actually place them. You can, of course, take this off and drop them in. But I found that sometimes they kind of get too close to each other and I end up with this almighty mess. So I find by doing the method where I take the lid off and actually placing them, it's really good. And if you can find a nice small contraption like a cup with a handle, crack your egg in. It's really easy if you're doing multiple eggs at one go. So while that's counting down, I just want to tell you about my new mix shop items. So the first item that's just arrived is this little guy, which I love. It's a really big um, caddy, and of course what I have in there now is my beautiful salt and pepper. So I've got white salt and pepper, and it comes with a lovely spoon, so you can actually pop those in. And what I love about it is that it's all nicely sealed up when it's stored away, and it holds a nice quantity. So that's just perfect. I love that so much. Um, other items I've got were, I thought I had to have this because it looks so pretty. The hand soap and the dish soap dispenser. Um, so you've got plenty in there so you're not having to refill all the time and it looks pretty and attractive on your bench. So I just got that. And it's quite nice that oh it's quite nice that the little holes underneath are all um, it's got little holes that anything can actually just drain through. And of course, I got the pizza board. So this is great for all those pizzas Andrew and I are having, and it's got a lovely kind of lip on it there, so that's going to be lovely for us to have, and I know so many of you have ordered this already. And what else did I get? Oh yes, this one here, that I'm very excited about. Um, this is a sausage maker. So I, I love eating sausages, I just 
don't like eating sausages. <laughs> what do I mean by that, Andrew? I don't, I don't like not knowing what goes into the sausages. <laughs> so to be able to make my own is going to be really exciting. So I thought I would alter this contraption. Have a feel of it, Andy. Have a feel of the way. <laughs> Yeah, ooh, yeah, 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 it's really exciting. It's really heavy. I love it. Ah, that. okay. It's not tinny. Well, you should have told me I was supposed to say it's really heavy. No, no. Do you want to do it again? Be, be, be honest. Ah, oh, it's so heavy, Cole. <laughs> so, I'm going to be having a play with the sausages and um, having a, a, a crack at making Oh, right, come on, focus on your one. egg, it's going to be That's overcooked. Okay. That's okay. Um, and focus on um, making some yummy sausages for everyone to have a go at. So, that would be fun too. Right, so my egg, let's have a little look. So you do need to just check it. Um, and I'm just going to stick my glasses on um, so I can look through. So let's pull that away and have a little look inside there, Andrew. So you can see the egg there. That looks absolutely fine. It's not too wibbly wobbly on top. It looks like a jellyfish. It looks like a jellyfish. Thank you, honey. So you can either take the basket out or if you've got a lovely spider, what you can actually do with the spider is just take it out on a bit of kitchen paper to drain off any excess water. Yep. This, then, this is funny. Mia said, Mia said, that's why bought sausages in Australia were referred to as mystery bags. I, I think that, yeah, I just... <laughs> you get big lumps of stuff, you don't know what that stuff is, it's so processed. But the thought of putting in quality items in that little sausage bag, it's going to be good. Um, so here's my lovely egg, so let's just have a, a little go, I'll put a little bit of salt on, and I'm just going to actually, I'm sure, eat some of this, so I won't put pepper on just Thank yet. No, no pepper please. And then you salt and pepper dispenser, which is just beautiful. And, okay, let's have a little look, is she beautifully cooked? Yep, there you go, a lovely cooked poached egg. That's just the way I like it, with the white set and the, the yolk um, runny. If you like it with the, the white a bit more runny, obviously just a little few seconds less and you'll get perfectly cooked eggs every right. time. Yes. Right, it's coming. What if you like hard poached eggs? You call them boiled eggs, don't you? <laughs> uh, well, you just go a little bit longer, but really hard. I've never had... I think the, the beauty of a poached egg is almost soft. Yeah, I love this one. Oh, it's all gone now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Have a beautiful evening and take care in all this rain. Bye for now. Bird on a tree